Hi Apex friends! Today I want to show you your options where to download and, and how to install FOSS plugins or any Apex plugin for that matter into your uh, Apex application. Number one, GitHub. We got a GitHub link here in our demo app, but you also find us on, on GitHub. Just search for FOSS or FOX open source. Uh, you'll find a list of repositories and then you pick the one you're interested in, let's say the FOSS execute pill SQL code. At the right hand side, you find the releases, pick the version you're interested in. Right now, um, that's just one, but there will be more versions in the future. Click there, download, there you go. So you have a zip file, un unpack it, and then you can already go to your Apex application. Let's just pick this one. Uh, shared components, here you find plugins, and then you can simply say, well, import plugins from there, All right? Pick that next, next, and there we go. Plugins here, quite simple. Right. Uh, of course, you can also find our plugins on Apex World, and that would be tip number two. Check out Apex World. You can search for FOSS or for the just plugin name, and then you pick the one you're interested in. Let's say FOSS notifications. You get all the description, uh, overview of the settings. Uh, you can again go to GitHub, or you can directly download the latest version from GitHub through that link. So you would get it here. Uh, we don't go into this right now because it's the same as before. So let's skip to method number three, which is download this demo application because it already contains all the plugins uh, and also doubles as documentation and you see all the examples and whatnot. So let's Grab this application, download that version. Back to Apex Builder. Now import this demo application. There it is. So there we are, application installed. You can see there's all those demo pages and in shared components, plugins. We find the list of all the plugins in this app. So if I wanna get those plugins now into my other application, I open the shared components plugins of this other application. And in here, instead of saying import, I can pick create as a copy of an existing plugin, which now lets you pick the FOSS demo application as source of plugins. And it shows you all the plugins in the demo application. And you can then decide per plugin, do you wanna copy it over? Uh, do you wanna copy yes, no, or, and that's my recommendation, copy and subscribe, which lets you, when there is a new version of the demo application, lets you easily push all those changes out to your subscribed applications. So we don't need all the, those plugins, but let's say we pick, we pick just a number here, copy those plugins, and here they are. And you can see they are subscribed from the demo application. And then it's easy to update them when a new version comes out. So, hope you like that. Uh, take them for a test run. Let us know what you like, what you don't like, what we can improve. Uh, and have a great day.